The letter is typed on A.S. Bondi headed paper, dated 17th of May, 2011. It gives permission for a 12-year-old French boy named Kylian Mbappe to attend a four-day trial the following week. Mbappe was on his way to Chelsea. And this is the story of what did and what didn't happen next. The man who took Mbappe to England was Daniel Boger, one of Chelsea's former scouts, who tells of a meeting that ended with Mbappe's mother saying that Chelsea would live to regret their decision not to sign her son then and there. Ultimately, Pfizer Mbappe was proved right, and the PSG forward ended up being another one that got away from Chelsea's point of view. Clearly, hindsight is a wonderful thing. It's worth pointing out that plenty of parents would make similar comments and their children are never heard of again. It would also be naive to think that Mbappe, at the age of 12, was nailed on to be a future superstar. Indeed, Mbappe doesn't remember scoring in a resounding win over Charlton Athletic, and interestingly, the Chelsea players in his age group at that time can't recall the France international ever being with them. Many of them thought the story of his Chelsea trial was a hoax when contacted by the Athletic to ask for their memories. Mbappe's trial in London came about after Boger, who is the brother of former Chelsea winger Jeremy, received a tip-off from a contact at Nike. He told me, Daniel, I think you should come to Paris. There's a young boy, he's called Kylian Mbappe, he's already signed a contract with me. You should see him, Boger tells The Athletic. Boger followed up the lead and went to watch Mbappe playing for Bondi, where the player's father, Wilfred, was the manager. Initially, Boger was impressed by what he witnessed in an 11-a-side match, but not totally blown away. What he didn't realise until later was that Mbappe was playing two years above his age. After speaking to Chelsea and Mbappe's parents, a trial was arranged towards the end of the 2010-11 season. Wilfried and Pfizer accompanied Killian, along with his older brother, Jires Kemboekoko, who was playing for Stad Ren at the time. They all stayed at a hotel in Cobham, just around the corner from Chelsea's training ground. Back then, Mbappe was a star-struck schoolboy. He had his photo taken with Didier Drogba, and as he said in an interview with the Players' Tribune a couple of years ago, he was so shocked to be going to Chelsea that he never told any of his friends about the trial until he returned to Paris. His teammates at Bondi didn't believe where he'd been until he showed them the Drogba picture on his father's phone. Mbappe played one game for Chelsea during his trial, against Charlton. He told 442 magazine a few years ago that Chelsea won 6-0 or 7-0. I played up front, but I don't think I scored, he said. It was great. It was my first experience abroad and a chance for me to see what the game was like in England. Boga went to watch and remembers Mbappe showing flashes of brilliance in the game. At the same time, there was also a sense that Mbappe was fairly relaxed about the whole experience. When he went to his trial, I don't think he saw that he had the opportunity to give everything to sign for Chelsea, Boga adds. It sounds like, and it is totally understandable if this was the case, given Mbappe's age, the trial wasn't viewed as a make or break for him, and he adopted more of a let's see how it goes approach to the four days. Boga believed that Chelsea sensed that, because after the game finished, he recalled speaking with Jim Fraser, Chelsea's head of youth recruitment, who said, yeah, when he's got the ball, he's amazing, but we want to see this hunger. Chelsea were keen to see him in the future, but Boga translated for Mbappe's mother. Tell them he won't come back, he recalls her saying. If you want to sign him, you sign him now. She was steadfast in her belief for her son. And she was also right. In five years' time, Boga was instructed to tell Chelsea, you'll come back for him for £50 million. Pounds. But Boga didn't actually translate that last bit, thinking that it was a bit too bold. Instead, he told the club that it was unlikely that Mbappe would come back to England and that if they wanted him, they'd have to make the decision then and there. But they didn't bite. And while efforts were made to bring him back to Cobham, Mbappe was by then set on going to Clairefontaine, France's storied national football centre. Still, it's hard to know whether Mbappe would have signed for Chelsea if the opportunity had presented itself, bearing in mind he was only 12 years old at the time. Under Article 19 of FIFA's rules, clubs are not permitted to sign players under the age of 18 from other countries, or under the age of 16 for players moving within the European Union which was the case with Mbappe in 2011. The only way around that would have been for Mbappe's family to leave behind their life in Paris and relocate to England for non-footballing reasons. Boga, who finished working for Chelsea in 2014, lost contact with Mbappe's family after a couple of years and watched the rest of the player's story unfold on television. He remembers a determined young boy 
who was supported by his mother, a former professional handball player, and his father, a football coach, who was helping him to prepare for a life in senior football and ultimately to be a star of the game. Just not for Chelsea. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including David Ornstein, Daniel Taylor, Ollie Kay, Amy Lawrence and Rafa Honigstein. There are journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.